Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be showing you four uh, dinners uh, that were Pinterest inspired and they are also low carb. Uh, I am making on some of them with rice for my children but I show you uh, an option for low carb. So come along. I am making a beef and broccoli in an instant pot. This takes about two pounds of um, beef. What kind is it again? Top sirloin. Um, then I'm putting it over some cauliflower. I will make rice for the kids. Uh, you have to steam up some broccoli to add to it, onions, and then for the sauce, I've got ginger. Ground, uh, I uh, ground up some ginger and some garlic, and I will be using some of my broth and also soy sauce. It takes about half a cup of soy sauce, one cup of broth, and then this stuff. And then at the end to thicken it, you're supposed to, once you're done, you're supposed to add um, cornstarch. Oh yeah, and it's asking for two tablespoons of brown sugar. I will add one tablespoon xylitol and I just wanna see how that's gonna turn out. And I'll let you know. I turn my, my Instant Pot on to saute and I'm just preheating some olive oil and then I'm gonna add my onions and I have mixed up the beef with soy sauce, the broth, um, ginger and garlic. So I'm gonna add that once the onions are sauteed. Okay, so I had added my onion and I'm just sauteing. Meanwhile, I've got my water boiling for cauliflower and I've got the broccoli steaming that's supposed to get added after the broccoli, after the meat is done. And stir it in. So onions are ready. So I'm gonna add the beef. Then stir it up. I'm going to put the lid on, make sure the valve is closed, I'm going to turn off the saute, and I'm going to turn on manual on high pressure, no, high pressure for 10 minutes, it takes a bit longer because it takes time for it to build the pressure and once the pressure is built, it starts to count down. So we'll say on until it's ready to count it down. The is done, so I had added it into here. Now you're supposed to add cornstarch and some li liquid. You can either mix it with water or just take liquid out of here and mix it back in. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that for the purpose of um, don't want to have any um, carbs or starch in it. So, yeah, so it's all done. The cauliflower is done and so is the rest. So here it is over the cauliflower. cauliflower. For dinner tonight, I am making the pressure cooker creamy Tuscan garlic chicken. So I had seasoned my chicken with garlic. Um, Italian seasoning, some salt, and I'm preheating my pressure cooker. Uh, I'm going to have it on a saute setting and I'm going to saute the chicken. And I'm putting it over fresh pasta and also I had uh, made a zucchini linguine. So my pressure cooker is heated, so I'm going to add my chicken.
I'm just going to brown the pizza. So while that's browning, I put some water to boil for the pasta. So if it is done browning, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of my broth. While that's cooking, I'm going to get the rest of my ingredients is ready. So now that it's done, let us see. I am going to turn it back on so it's saute. And over here, I have mixed um, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream, whipping cream, two tablespoons of cream cheese. And Seasoning. I will link the recipes, all the recipes below in the description box. So we're going to mix this up and bring it to a boil. And once it boils, I'm going to add spinach, sun dried tomatoes cream cheese, and not cream cheese, uh, what's it called, um, parmesan. Mm, so I've added spinach, and then we're going to cook it just until spinach is well done. And my pasta is done. I just have to heat up my zucchini, which I do with just a little bit of butter and olive oil. So I'm making tomato basil soup. I have preheated the olive oil on saute setting in an instant pot. And I'm adding onion, carrots, and garlic. As well as seasoning. Uh, we could basil, salt, pepper, and I could take. And I'm gonna set, mix it up and saute it. So I have finished sauteing and I turned it off and I added um, broth, bay leaves, and uh, tomatoes. And now I'm gonna turn it on to cook. Make sure the light is off. Soup setting, and I'm gonna put it on for about 22 minutes just because some of the tomatoes are still a little frozen. But you can use canned tomatoes as well. So the soup finished, and I used um, the blender to puree it, and I'm going to add half a cup of whipping cream. And I'm just going to run this a little bit. Over. And that's that. So we're just getting ready to make some pork carnitas and I just wanted to show you what I have here. 
So I have the pork shoulder and then the spices which contain cumin, chili powder, oregano and pepper. I got salt, olive oil, two limes, some homemade broth and garlic and there's an onion and I will be making it in an instant pot. So here I have sliced up my meat. I left it in a fairly large chunk and I am preheating the oil where I'm going to brown the pork in. So the, here the oil has heated and the pork is browning and once it's done I will uh, take it out and let it rest for a little bit while I get the other stuff done. So here it is out on a plate. So now that the pork is uh, brown, I will be adding the broth. This is my homemade broth. It's still a little frozen, but it's not a big deal. So I will add it and I want to get all the little uh, browning stuff to blend in with the, like the fat and the drippings or whatever it's called that's uh, on the bottom of the pot to uh, combine with the broth. So now I have put the, the broth had come to a boil and I have put the pork back in. I will add my spices to it. I had blended it all up. I will be adding some garlic and some onions. I'm also squeezing out some lemon juice. Uh, I mean lime juice. Okay, so we had put all the ingredients in and now I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on help if it was off but anyway so I'm going to turn it on on meat at oh, how long do you say 60 <laughs> 69 minutes and let that cook so it's going to take a little while before it turns off make sure the Vent is off, and then once it builds steam, the countdown will start. Once it was done, I pulled it apart, and then I put it in my baking on my baking sheet and put it in the oven just to get it browned. And here it is, over a high fiber, high protein, low carb tortilla. So there you have it. These were four quick, uh, well, I wouldn't say quick, but fairly easy um, uh, meals with low-carb meals that you can make under, I would say, the pork carnitas took a little longer, but I had enough for a few meals there. So I had saved myself time in, in the long run, but overall, um, it took a... A good hour and a half to prepare but if you're organized over a weekend it shouldn't be that hard um, I know that something like this would take a lot longer in a slow cooker or in the oven so um, yeah so if you like this video give me a thumbs up um, if you're new to my channel welcome and thank you for subscribing to all of you thanks for watching